So now we are getting to, uh, to get deeper to the uh, prompt area. Okay? Now, the prompt, as we know, for, from the previous sections, is getting a, a clip from the model that we just loaded. Th that clip uh, encoding the text to embedding, which is that point, the output itself is called uh, conditioning. But the structure that go out to the, the case sampler that the model is using is embedding. Now, why we have here embedding? Because, because embedding are binary data. The, this is not text. This is the, imagine that we took a thousand and thousand of words and convert them to some, uh, uh, to the, we pre-digest them in a prompt and prepare them already for, for the model. Okay, so what we are, we, are, we are doing now, we are we can actually take pre-prepared um, uh, embedding. Let's say, for, for example, CXL uh, match. You, you will see in a second what, what this thing means. And this thing treat like we get tons of other data that describe that prompt. So now the, 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 the clip, the text encoder know that this is embedding and it will take, it will encode those words. And after that, it will, it will take all the embedding here and combine them together. So if, for example, we have this window. So look what happened when we added the embedding to it. Okay, we still have a window, but that embedding is doing like a clutter, like a mess, but it still keep it. So it gave us, you can see here, different of junks, tons of junks, but those junks are just like we went to the prompt and added tons of, of sections of words that, that mean that we want this junk. Okay, now if I will remove it, I will get the same image, exactly the same image as before. And you can see that the image is not changing, like the, the, the location, etc. is almost the, the same. But look how it looks like now. So before and after, okay? Now, the, uh, one of the biggest things for, for embedding is for negative, okay? If I am adding here, embed, Easy negative. This easy negative add lots of goodies that uh, you you don't need to say I want blurry, I want um, I don't want things that are not safe, etc. So this easy negative has tons of data about what you don't want, and usually this is the common thing that you don't want to represent. So let's run it and let's see if we if we get any other image because we, we said is in negative okay so we, we, it influence on the image it actually influence and give you a different uh, thing it it can be like light lights that the lights are not too dim etc and there are lots of uh, embedding that, that are prepared for different tasks for positive or negative it's up to you okay so this is the the embedding. But now we have something which is more cool and fun. Usually you, uh, you want to get multiple uh, values, multiple uh, uh, images, and you don't want each time come here and change window, bedroom. Okay? Window, blah. Uh, you want a totally different scene. So we, we can do something here. We can do something very cool here. Let me show you. There is a, there are, there is a thing that's called wildcard. Wildcard means I'm going to give you a placeholder. That placeholder uh, you can replace by random values from somewhere else in, uh, in Confi. Okay, so let's see. 
I'm using here, by the way, um, some uh, um, a random uh, for a wildcard processor of Mickey. You can get it from uh, from the node manager. Okay, the Mickey nodes. A guy that make it like amazing. There are lots of goodies here. I will show you later for more. Now, what this thing is doing is giving you random values. You can see here that I, that it has a seed that giving you uh, different values can be fixed, increment, decrement, and randomized. And it it is giving you here the the description that that come from uh, from the wild from the wild card. Now the wild card is actually you, you can see here I created one. I I went to a chat GPT. I asked him to give me 50 or 100 or 10,000, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, uh, things. To use it, you must do underscore underscore, paste the name of the file, it's, it's a text file, which each line has a different prompt, and underscore underscore. Now, let's go to, to zero, just to make it clear where we are. Okay? Now. This, this thing, it doesn't render anything. It's just giving you a string. So I need to connect this string to uh, my prompt. And I can't use it because I already have here a prompt. So what I will do, right click, convert widget to input. And now you can see that the, wind, the, the text area became, a, became a, a connection. So I can go to the wildcard processor. And from now on, the text comes from this processor. And here you have another, uh, another node that will show us what we have here. So let's run. Now we, we get seed zero. It means that we get one of the values from the file. And we got what we actually uh, about to get. So you can see, you can see this uh, amazing prompt that was generated. Okay, and the image. Okay, now if I will run it again on fix, I will get the, the, the same image. Why? Because the seed did not change. Let's change it to one. And here below, you can see the images that uh, generated. Now we are running now, uh, number one. Now it change. Now it's ancient oak. And we have it. Let's do another one. Let's do it with increment. I will move to the image itself so it will be easier to see it. Okay. This is nice. Another one. And it's random. Now if you will have uh, 5,000, 10,000 uh, um, thing inside the inside the the file. You will get each time different thing. Now combine it. Now combine it with the random seed here. Let's do randomize. It means that now it doesn't matter how many images I will create, the random or the increment values here with the random of the case sampler will give me technically unlimited amount of uh, images. Yeah? So if I will take it for uh, randomize, now I'm technically will, will never get the same image again. Because why? Because as we said, we start from empty, uh, empty latent, but then we are giving it a different uh, noise, and the, and and the noise is the same uh, is the noise here. Plus the different uh, the different value. The different value of the random here, in the in the wildcard. And now, I will get more and more and more and technically i will get infinite amount of uh, images for those prompts 
okay? So the wildcard is super cool. I'm using it a lot. Now, I want to show you where are the wildcard in the Comfy. And I want to show you how a file of a wildcard look like. One of those that you just saw here. Yeah, so you can you can see it here. This is the actual uh, folder of my uh, my wildcard. So you can see the same name here. Yeah, the same name exists here. The same file name. Okay, I will increase the size here. Yeah. So the same uh, file name is the same uh, name here, or in the where, where you actually put the wildcard. Now, there are wildcards that are, that are inside folders. For example, that uh, folder that I download, I have here a uh, lot of other uh, wildcards, like animals, bird, etc. Now, I need to set the same path to this file name from the wildcard folder. Okay? It means that I need to come And you see, you have the cyberdelia slash animals slash cyberbirds. Now you can see here cyberbirds is inside animals, and the animal is inside cy cyberdelia, and that's inside wildcard. Okay? So if I want to use it, let me cut that folder, that name, and now I will run it. And we got a bird, okay? Which is great. It means that I can use any number of uh, any combination between them i want to show you one more thing like as you saw i can do this action okay now i have two random wildcards okay let me hide this one okay now i have two uh, wildcard yeah and here remember we we just run the birds we have here the bird that uh, selected so now i will do it with both of them now i have this bird and some um, some other things now it depends what the the model we will decide let's see if you have, if you have something I don't see a bird. Okay, it depends on him. If I will run it again, now it's a different bird. I have this one. Maybe it understands it differently, but the wild card is important. Now I want to show you how the file of the of the wild card uh, work. So here my wild card. You see, this is the non the random subject non people. Okay, and I have here 1,000 uh, lines of uh, random stuff, okay, which the ChatGPT created. If I will show you it in one, in one uh, without, uh, with wrapping, you can see that each one is around 300, 400 characters, okay, which is giving me very detailed uh, um, uh, description of the image. Same for random subject, which include people. So I have here almost 2,000 types. And I have one that is a totally random subject, which I have another 1,800. Okay, those can give me the option to create crazy thing without the need to start to think. And then if I need to do something, for example, to generate those images, I just gave it a, a couple of times to generate the images with different prompts. Okay? 
So the part of the of the folder is important. It took me a while to uh, to find the exact uh, structure because it's it wasn't so clear. And if you are in the main folder of the wildcards, you can just use the the file name. Do not add stuff like .txt or thing like that. Just the file name and the folder to it.